time for the Strange Files of Military History and the ice ship Habakkuk. Jeffrey Pike was an idea man. Some called him a mad scientist, others called him a genius inventor. When pondering on the issue of aircraft carrier ships being attacked by German U-boats, Pike came up with an idea for an unseekable ship, an ice ship. He figured the buoyancy of ice would keep the ship up regardless if it was hit by a torpedo. It would also be much cheaper and easier to create than steel, or so he thought. Dubbed Project Habakkuk after a biblical prophet that foretold of a work for which ye will not believe. He first proposed simply leveling off an iceberg and hollowing it out to shelter aircraft. Though it was later pointed out that natural icebergs are often much larger on the bottom and are prone to flipping over. The idea was about to be shelled if it weren't for the invention of pikrete. A mixture of water and wood pulp which when frozen was much stronger than plain ice, took longer to melt, and of course would not sink. Invented by scientist Herman Mark working out of New York but named after pike. It could be machined like wood and cast in shapes like metal. To show off the strength of pikrete, many accounts say the demonstration was held during a high-ranking conference in Quebec, Canada. A British statesman, Lord Mountbatten, was in front of a group of admirals and generals, as well as Winston Churchill and Franklin D. Roosevelt. He set up one block of ice and one of pikrete. Drawing a service pistol, he first shot the ice, which instantly shattered, then stating, I shall now fire on the block on the right to show you the difference. Upon firing, the bullet ricocheted around the room, as one onlooker stated, buzzing around our legs like an angry bee. There are differing accounts, as one states the bullet grazed the leg of Admiral Ernest King, another saying it struck the shoulder of Sir Alan Brooke. Regardless, it was certainly proven to be a strong and resistant material. They started building a 150th scale model, weighing it at 1,000 tons. A problem arose when they realized pikrete acted as a very slow moving plasma and would need steel reinforcements along with a cooling system to keep it frozen. The final design for what was dubbed Habakkuk 2 was due to be 2.2 million tons and started to have a laundry list of requirements including a torpedo proof hull of at least 40 feet thick. By the time the design was nailed down it would require enough refrigeration pipes running through it that the steel alone could be used to create a whole other regular sized carrier. These problems, along with rapidly increasing range of land-based aircraft, improvements in radar, and other successes in hunting U-boats, eventually sunk the future of the helicopter. However, the prototype itself lasted through three hot summers before completely melting away. We here at USAM can't help but wonder what it would have been like to walk through the icy halls of such a behemoth ice ship, but it's just another page in the strange stories of military history.